first one back of the season and uh, not brilliant. I mean, it's the first board draw of the season against a bunch of Swedish fishermen and farmers and God knows what. And that's, that's being generous. They weren't that bad. They played some good football. They are midway through their season, so therefore they do have a bit more fitness edge than what we do. We tried loads of different formations and players on the pitch, to which I think that mm, lacked a lot up top. Lacked a lot up top. Fleming looked a bit off the pace, needs a bit more match fitness. A phobie, exactly the same, need a bit of communication between the pair of them. Brad has run his socks off, but with not, without a lot of end product. Uh, McNamara didn't really get a lot in the, more in the game, didn't struggle first off. Um, Malone just needs to take his time a bit more. Needs to shout a bit louder because he had loads of space out there lots of times and he just don't shout, does he? So they don't know he's there, but you know, Evans was tidy in the first half, but for me, he's not going to be a starter in the first side. I mean, that nil-nil tonight and then a penalty loss of 5-4, you can't argue with the penalties. I mean, they put all theirs away. We hit the post with one of ours. That's that's how the cookie grumbles here. It's the, it's the performance that we're looking at as an overall. I thought Bennett came on and looked fantastically good, but end product with him, as always, end product. Uh, Zach, Isaac, the uh, lad who's on the loan at uh, Sutton, didn't really get a look in. Didn't really get much of the ball. Not overly impressed there, but yeah, he's got other days to shine. It'll be a good test against Ipswich. Uh, Fleming needs more game time. It's obvious he needs more game time. The, the two lead lads look look mustard. They look like they're going to slip into the side. I mean, Cresswell's different level. Head and shoulders. Honeyman, great player. Great player of the boys' feet. A real Millwall player. He puts his heart into everything. He goes right through people. Very Terry Herlock-esque. And I love that kind of player, and so do Mill, but I can see him picking up a few yellow cards to uh, go throughout the whole season. Bartman, twice today, absolutely... Oh, fucking hell, the lights have gone out. Someone else hasn't played the bill in New Cross. What a surprise there is. Bartman looked good. He had a little to do, but he made two cracking saves, and those two saves are what kept us in the game. And they were the t only, t only two clear-cut chances of the whole game. Mill huffed and puffed, and then Patty's look looked pretty decent with the ball, but we didn't do enough. I'd love, I mean, I, I honestly believe as well that the starting eleven is so difficult to pick now that it's going to be very hard to get the fluency and the continuity in the side going into the first game of the season for the simple fact of we could play so many different formations, there's so many different different array of players that. I think there's a headache. I'd love to know what, you, what everyone thinks out there that our best 11 is. Yes, it wasn't the best performance, but the players we had overall throughout the whole course of that game, there's, there's a lot to shout about. It's, and if they, when they do click and when they do get it right, they are going to be a very hard side to beat. And hopefully they're going to score a lot more goals this year with the sort of firepower that we do possess up front. If we get the well, the white, sorry, the white gal, then that would be a massive, massive coup for Millwall. Because the last time he's in this, this division, he got 23 goals. You know, that's double what a phobia he's got if he gets 12 this year. So that's massive. So he hits the ground running. Mason Bennett, if he keeps injured. So if he keeps up what I'm talking about. If he keeps injury three, he will be massive for us as well. Starting 11. I still think that the, the, back, the back five, if you like, has got to be, in my opinion, Bart. And it's got to be Hutch, it's got to be Cresswell, it's got to be Cooper, it's got to be Malone on the left, and, and either, either uh, McNamara or uh, Leonard on the right. The centre midfield positions, like you've got, and you've got to have Billy Mitchell, you've got to have, um, you could have the Shackleford, and you could have um, Savile or Honeyman. Honeyman has to start. He has to start. Then you go into your three up the top, and where, who do you put in there? You'd say a phobie, a phobie Bradders and maybe Fleming, but then Mason Bennett has now threw his hat into the ring. Dwell, Dwell, Dwight Gal, he's another one. So tonight's six jump, yes, he's very disappointed, but again, we played well in patches, we played well some link up play, but we had no penetration at all. We had an absolute, we could have had a, like a condom of an old and we still couldn't have penetrated it. Do you know what I mean? It was that fucking poor. 
big shout out to my uh, Hornchurch Mill Mick and uh, Nick from Blue Water I met the other week. Lads, hope you enjoyed that tonight. Hope you enjoy the rest of the season. But please, in the comments, please put what you think your best 11 will be going into that game and how you think we're going to start against Stoke. Will it be a win? Will it be a draw? Or will we go for it? Because at the moment, I don't know. I don't know. But I know, do know we'll finish top half of the table. Till the next game. Come on, you lawyers. Bye.